What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fisherman Norby. Sitting here in a houseboat this morning. It's early, drinking my coffee. We're getting ready to go catch some slabs. We've got some coffee cooling off here. Um, but check this out. So my neighbor invited me fishing on his houseboat. I guess every morning he comes out here crappie fishing and he's got he's got the setup here he could sleep out here if he wanted but we're going to be crappie fishing right out here i'm going to show you guys how to crappie fish off of docks today so what we're fishing i'll show you when we get out there we got a big long marina dock and this houseboat's in it and we're just going to be jigging by these wooden poles going into the water and this works good all over the country metal docks um any, any sort of docks you can do what we're going to do today we're going to get out here, we're going to jig for crappie, uh, we're going to use artificial jigs, and uh, I'm excited. Larry over here, how you doing? Doing great, doing great, man. He's the one who, who's my neighbor, he owns this boat, he invited me out here today, can't thank him enough. We're going to try to get on him, hopefully get some big slabs. Um, did I hear you say you caught, how, how big was the crappie you caught last week? Three pounds, seven ounces. Three pounds, seven ounces, guys, or last slab. week. <laughs> That's a slab. A slab. A slab. And uh, he's, he sent it to the taxidermist. And you're getting it mounted, right? Yes, sir. 18, he said 18 inches long, 3.7 pounds. That's nuts. That's so big. So, you guys are in for a treat today. We're going to hopefully get on some Lake Gunnersville crappie. There's some giants here in Alabama. I haven't crappie fished too much since we moved down, but I'm excited. So, let's get out there and catch them. There's one. Biggin. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Biggin. <laughs> wow. Baby crappie. My first one of the day. There's one, guys. Picked up again. Another giant. There we go, guys. Oh, that was a giant. That was a giant. Wow. Big old crappie. All right. All right. There's some good ones in here. That right there was a giant. I just had about a, I just had about a 14 incher get off right at the top here. Did you? Yeah, he was on. He's a big one. They're in here. You can get them, coke them in the back. Yeah, there's another little one. There's one. Oh, might have a keeper. Good ball boat. Did, does he have one too? Yep. All right. Where's the measuring stick? It gotta be nine right inches to keep. Right here beside you. All right, let's check out Bob's. Who's the bigger? Uh, it'll be close. <laughs> it's very big. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna keep you. It's still a little dark out. Oh, just barely. You got a keeper? Yeah. Just barely nine inches. This one is what? Eight and a half? Yeah, that's eight. Yeah. So too small. Eight and a half. He's going back. Bob's nine inches. I'm gonna throw him in the old crappie tank. What kind of jig are you using, Andrew? Uh it's a little tube jig. A tool. Yeah, and it's it's silver and white. Here, I'll show it to you. I have not been able to catch them on tubes either down here. I've caught seven now. That's all we use back home. It's a oh. 30 second ounce. Yep. And I got me a little split shot up here to just oh, yeah. help me feel it. That's all we use back in Wisconsin for crappie. Yeah. That's all I used in Missouri. But I normally use black and chartreuse. Black and That's my favorite, but here it's been this color. Red and white, so I, I do like used to do good. Red and there. white? Yeah, that was but a good I one too. Never had huh. There's another one. Oh, that one feels good. Oh, come on, be nine. I've been catching all these little six inches, so these feel huge. <laughs> yeah. He might be nine. All right, guys. Here's here's where we got nine inches. We got the top. I don't think that's accurate. I don't know. He looks nine, though. 
Yep. Yeah, he's, he's nine. Okay. They probably are accurate. Here we go, guys. First one, nine incher. That's number eight for me on crappie. Yeah, that's a good one. There you go. That one work. Yeah, fat one. Yeah. Got Bob out here today. How you doing? Doing well. Now you caught a decent slab earlier when it was kind of dark on us. Probably about 12 inches. Yeah, I'd say 12. You just been jigging it? That's it, just kind of working it along. And yeah, letting it pendulum. Mostly that seems to be the deal. All right, awesome. Well, hopefully we get some bigger ones here. They're Oops. in here, we just gotta get them. They are in here. All right guys, so we got a bunch of floating eelgrass. Um, we scooped it with a net out of the way of this dock. And then we're we're fishing these little these little wooden posts coming in right here. So um, right where Bob's fishing right now, we got these wooden posts down right under him, and he's just penduling them, letting that crappie jig pendulum back and forth by these posts. And we're hopping from stall to stall today, hoping to run into a few more big ones. We've caught some decent ones already. I've caught about ten. These guys have caught a bunch as well. But most of them have been small. We caught a few good ones, but we're just fishing, fishing these wooden posts. It's about 10 feet deep, and we're casting it out, letting it pendulum back all the way till it gets to us. There you go. Look at that one, guys. A fillet. That's right. That's a good one. Getting a few in the bucket. Oh, cooked again. He wasn't wanting to what get What color is that one? This. Yeah. Is a shiner that I put some garlic. Okay. Garlic salt in it and yeah. it changes the color. A yeah, bit. yeah, a little dip and die. Yeah. Well, it, the garlic salt just changes the color. Really? Yeah. I'm going to try uh, slipping on a, one of those Bobby Garlands. I haven't got a bite in a little while. I just switched it up to a little uh, Bobby Garland crappie little minnow here. I'm going to try it out. been using a little tube jig I catch them on my palm with and once I broke off haven't caught any more <laughs> see if this makes a difference wow I'm already stuck there's one little guy and he ate that wow <laughs> that's so a, big. That's a that's huge. Yeah. So I, I took it to the taxi dinner. Jeez. An old dude. Wow. There's another one. And the little one. <laughs> the hey. little one. That might keep. Yeah, it might keep. It's right close. A, this is more accurate. This thing here tells you. Okay. Let's see if he's nine inches. Right here. Right there's nine inches. Right so you put him in head first? Yes, just drop him in that head. Is this, where's the nine at? Right there's the 10. Oh, okay. Can you see it? Yeah, he's nine. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, we that one, I... I knew the little one had a bad day. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's so cool. That's the way you lose it, you know that, though. Doubled up, doubled up. Uh -oh. Let's compare. Uh -oh. Let's compare. Compare those two. I'm gonna use mine for bait. Catch one like yours. Jeez, look how tiny this thing is. I know, isn't that incredible? That's a good one. That's 12 incher. Yeah, that's good decent. job. Thank you. I was gonna take the boat out later today. There's one. Smoked it. Oh yeah, that one will keep. Yeah. That's a little bigger than the last one. There we go. There we go, guys. Catching them now. There's one. Feels like a decent one. Okay. That one I'll keep. That's my biggest one of the day right there. Probably 12 inches. That's a decent one. Maybe, if I can grab them. Look at that one, guys. Big old crappy. Oh, 
come on. There we go. Yep. Fixing it up a little bit. Yeah, I always pull around with all these colors. Yeah? Sometimes it works. Got the little marker on there, putting some chartreuse and orange. Chartreuse, I put orange on the belly and okay. I put a couple little black dots on the side. Yeah. So every all once right. in a while that'll work. Well, you caught the biggest one so far. All right, guys, so he comes out here pretty often. He's got this basket rigged up. He's pulling out and he, he's got it rigged so otters can't get in it. I guess there's a bunch of otters around here. And if you got a normal basket, they get in there, they eat your fish. So what we're doing right now, those are the crappies he's caught the last couple days. Look at that. There's a giant one in there. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. Those are the ones he's caught the last couple days. And we are adding to it. He's gonna take them home, flay them today. Man, that's awesome. He only keeps the big ones. Um, that's crazy. We got some decent ones in there. He says he puts the nine inch ones in the, in the pond out by my house, so can't beat that. He said when they're really biting, you open the lid to this and you throw them down the chute you made. Yes. That's crazy, look at this guys. This PVC pipe, shoot. He tosses crappie down there, straight into the cage when they're really biting. But they weren't biting like crazy good today. Yeah, I'm gonna take them home, I think, and clean them. All right, do you need any help? Just catch what you feel. All right. Yeah, there's some good ones in there. Real good ones. That's awesome. The water got in that thing and I had to reinforce it. And the really? Basket, the basket so heavy. Busted now. through it? That's crazy. Yeah, he chewed a hole in the corner down here. Wow. Yeah, that's nuts. That's cool. I got some big old crappie in there. Where's the fat ones I was looking at? Some giant ones are in there. Yeah, I wish I could have seen that three pounder. That would have been nuts. Those make good fillets right there. I'd say so, that's a good slab. That's awesome. Yep, bucket full of slabs. All right, you want me to carry that for you? All right. All right. There you have it guys, closing up shop for a, a good little morning of, of work here out on the dock, nice Saturday morning, but that was awesome. We're gonna go flay these fish and release the nine inchers in the pond. We probably got about 30 as all. Well. But um, yeah, pretty good day, pretty good day. That was fun, they bit until about 8.15. So daylight, 6.30 to 8, 8.15. We caught them pretty good. And then we've stayed out here, it's 9.30 now. We only got one bite from 8.15 to 9.30. So they really shut off, I tried minnows and uh, they just they just weren't hitting. So um, early morning, you gotta get out here. I'm gonna have to come back out, fish with these guys. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you wanna see some more crappie episodes. Make sure you hit that thumbs up for me. Drop me a comment. Uh, if, you, if you want me to do some more crappie episodes, subscribe. We'll catch you next time here on Fishing with Norby.